Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer room. Today, guys, we are looking at a brand new beer from Newcastle, of all people. This is their Founders Ale. It's a 4.8% British style bitter. Um, very, very traditional, very traditional malt used, Styrian Golding hops are used in this one. It's basically an homage to the five founding breweries of Newcastle, which is now known as Newcastle. Newcastle, for me, kind of has a soft place in my heart. They were, you know, the Newcastle Brown was really a beer that got me into the craft beer, you know, scene as, as I know it now. So looking forward to this one. This one is out in February, so it's going to be out very soon, if not already, in six packs and 12 pounds packs. And they say it's going to be competitively priced with their Newcastle Brown now. So take that for what it's worth. I'm curious about this one. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes and give you the verdict on the Newcastle Founders Ale. All right, to the appearance in the Founders Ale. It is a beautiful, beautiful beer. Brilliantly clear, like crystal glass. Um, it's a really nice kind of uh, orange, bronze, rust colored in there. Nice carbonation coming off the side, on the off the bottom of the glass, actually. There was a really nice three to four fingers of an off-white head, and it's really, really sticking around. It looks like ice cream or like ocean foam. Um, tons of lacing. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really, really clean, crisp looking beer. Just nice stuff. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Founders Ale. Yeah, I mean, the first impression is a big kind of graininess, kind of a sweet graininess coming through a cereal grain. Touch of sweetness, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee, a touch, a small amount of a roasted grain in there. Definitely getting some fruity sweetness, some yeast esters, that British yeast just shining through in this one. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of grassiness, a little bit of a citrus kind of hop character coming through. Not a whole lot, but at 4.8%, I wouldn't expect a whole lot. Overall, though, it's a really fresh smelling beer. Nice stuff. All right, the taste on the Newcastle Founders Ale. Cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice kind of, uh, a nice slight, slight bitterness. It's a citrusy, lemony, grassy type of flavor, a very noble hop type of bitterness coming through. Middle of the mouth, I'm getting um, some sweet graininess in there. Again, some more of the caramel, slight toffee, blending with the, you know, the front where you're getting the hops coming through. Nice sweet finish. Um, on this one, aftertaste, um, getting more of the graininess, uh, more sweet caramel, caramel, toffee, slight hops, again, more of a grapefruit kind of coming out in the end. Um, definitely getting the fruitiness from the, uh, the British style ale yeast they're using in this one. It's clean, there's not a whole lot of aftertaste, it's easy to drink, you don't taste any of the alcohol. It's a British bitter to the T's. I mean, it's just exactly what they claim it is. No more, no less, it does its job. It gets out and it's it's pretty solid actually. All right, guys. So the final verdict on the Newcastle Founders Ale, 4.8 percent available, probably starting now, depending on when I post a review. But February um, until April, I believe they said. Guys, I'm gonna get someone a solid B. I'm really, really surprised. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of English style bitters. I've had you know Fuller's and a couple others. So I knew kind of going into it what to expect, a light hop, big kind of breadiness and caramel notes. While this one isn't the most intensely flavorful bitter I've ever had, you're definitely getting kind of a, a very British hoppiness to it with those lemony, grassy, Styrian golden hops. You're getting the caramel and the toffee as you would expect from a British style bitter. With that said, I would, I would hope you guys would try this. I mean, it's gonna be fairly cheap um, around you guys, and if you haven't had an English bitter, you know, this isn't gonna be the best one, but it's definitely worth checking out. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot to be said about this beer, actually. I'm, I'm very, very surprised by it. It's really an easy to drink beer. It's a freshen beer. It'd be an awesome session beer. Um, if the, you know, if you just want to sit back and have an easy to drink beer. So definitely check it out guys. Let me know what you think. 4.8% easy to bring drink great session beer. So with that said, Dukes, getting a beer from me. Remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.